I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at ChrisBGiannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from WinningCuresEverything.com. Teams are lined up for the opening kick. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 24. The Cougars have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackle right around the 40. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. First and ten. Ball on the 40. And down he goes. Right around the 26-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Second and eight coming up here. Ball in the 23. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled at about the 13. And goal. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. They go with a toss. Touchdown, Cougars. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Boy, and that took some second effort against that goal line defense. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He makes it to the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He fights forward to about the 46. From their own 46 yard line. It's second down. He 
fights forward to about the 49. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, first down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. And they make the stop around the 19-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his receiver. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Cincy! Once you get inside the 10-yard line, this halfback is automatic. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. We get a tie game at 7-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Right two, right two. He steps out at the 39. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 39-yard line, it's third down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Setting up the play action. He's got all day. Excellent open field tackle. He tackles him for a loss. So at the end of one quarter, 
We're even at seven in this one. That makes it second and ten. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. He just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They'll bring him down at the 17 yard line. From the 17 yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled at the eight yard line. That makes it second and two. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Tries to get around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. He's taken down at the four. 13th play of the drive coming up. Stop your body. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. 13 play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tailback brought down for a loss. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. It's second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. And tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle at the 38. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From their own 38-yard line, first down. The halfback with a carry. Makes it out to about the 50. Zips it to the back. Good open field tackle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Pass 
tackled after a decent pickup. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's got it with room to run. Very good tackle in space. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From the 16-yard line. First down. The 10. Gains his way to the 7-yard line. Cincinnati will have one timeout remaining. This is the 10th play of this drive. The Bearcats wide receiver out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback later in this game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Bearcats. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Well, this young man is having a great individual day. But some more of these guys on his team need to start doing the same if they want to get back into the game. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Just amazing, Herbie. We've seen four straight possessions now in which the offenses have scored. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Quick throw to the tight end. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. He scrambled, and he's sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. McClellan fields it at the 24. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. You know, when this defense went over the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. That makes it second and ten. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Back's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's stopped behind the line. The Cougars use their second timeout. Smith to punt. Fielded at the 19. He's taken down at the 28. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Just throws this one away. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. They get nice yardage on that run. Fires a bullet out to the right. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. We played a half of football. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Now, we say it here all the time. It's not always about the X's and the O's. It can be about the Jimmy's and, and the Joe's. Joe's. But I think Jimmy and Joe appear to be pretty evenly matched here. And this might not necessarily be about who has the better athlete, who has the more explosive player. This might come down to which guy maneuvering those X's and O's does so the most wisely. Well, who's telling Jimmy and Joe where to line up? <laughs> they got to they gotta know where they're supposed to go. So I think it is important. And the coaches, sometimes you got to break character. You know, sometimes you know you're a predominantly run team, and that's what you do, and you're going to line up and pound it. But sometimes you face a good defense that's playing really well that they're not going to allow you to do that. And sometimes you got to get a little bit out of character. And I think... Which offense or which defense can take a few chances and get rewarded for those chances? Come up on the plus side of it. Create a big turnover. Set your offense up on the right side of the field. Why don't you dial up one of those trick plays you got in your bag that you haven't used in a while that you think might could, might could work and might could maybe bust open this game and give you a little bit of separation? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, Got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. but he's going to lose yards here. Drop back a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. the stop around the 42 yard line that's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to he did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down from their own 42 yard line it's first down he has some room runs outside for a nice game Fires incomplete, and that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. And here's another third down. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So 
Smith is waiting for the snap. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And he's taken down right around the 30. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. for his tight end over the middle. Tackle made at the 39. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Give to the tailback. Runs it left for a decent game. With a run. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. Put high. Three and five. He gets out to about the 48 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it third. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Down around the 45 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires to his fullback, no good. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And they fall on the loose ball. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. So the call on the field will be reversed. And he's tackled to the 19-yard line. That brings him second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Bring him down at about the 15 yard line. Game of three on the That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 15 yard line. Four 
Nice run up the middle. So at the end of three, 14 apiece. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Now the question is, who's going to crack? Will either defense give up any space? And which offense can put points on the board? It's going to be fun to find out. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and he's got it. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Brad, this is a big drive in this game with the offense getting the football late in this game, thinking about a tie, maybe taking the lead. Interesting to see the mindset of this defense. Are they going to be aggressive, or are they going to have more of a bend-but-don't-break mentality, looking not to give up this go-ahead touchdown? Tackles the 39-yard line. their own 39 yard line first down so an empty backfield with five wide receivers he steps out right around the 46 yard line Taken down around the 48-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Throws incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He fights forward to about the 49. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Brigham Young has a three-point lead. Fires out quickly to the tailback. That's a great tackle at the 41. Second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll run it. Tackle after decent pickup. That makes it first and ten. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, first down.
job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. Here's a running play. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Cincinnati will take their first time out of the half. Big play, and it's first and goal. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And down he goes around the three-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Bearcats using their third and last timeout. Touchdown, Cougars. The Cougars' sideline just erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run. What a big moment in this game. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Spikes the ball. It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on the 28 yard line. He wants it all. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. Deep ball laying it out there. It's broken up. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. I got two. I got two. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Open field tackle. And he stops the clock with a spike. This is the ninth play of this drive. The cavalry's coming. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. 
So much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 19-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24-14, BYU. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.